everyone! Today we are doing a back to school haul. I have been collecting all this stuff over the course of a few months, basically the whole summer. I've been collecting clothes, I put it inside my closet, and I say that I'm gonna do a haul, and then just more and more things got added to it, and then by the time I was ready to do this video, I was overwhelmed, and I almost didn't want to do the video because it's way too much stuff. <laughs> I have stuff from like every single brand that I love. I have Forever 21, Target. I'm wearing a Target dress right now. It is my new favorite thing. Um, I have Fashion Nova, Rainbow Shop. Um, what else? I have some stuff from ASOS. Like it's just all over the place. Yeah, if you want to see a teen girl, uh, I'm not a teen anymore, uh, if you want to see a young adult try on way too many clothes and ramble on about them because she's obsessed with them, then keep watching. The first item is this basic dress. It's from Fashion Nova. I heard Emma Tamsin talk about this dress and I saw it on her Instagram. She looked amazing in it. If you're not following her YouTube channel, please do because she has like the best clothing hauls. They're way better than mine, so yeah. You should definitely check out her channel. I saw it on her. I think it looks better on her, to be completely honest. Um, it's just a simple tank top dress, but it does have a thick thick lining to it. It's double lined, so it's definitely not see-through, which is my biggest gripe about these kinds of dresses. But yeah, this is a very thick jersey knit material. I purchased it in a, I think a 2X. I wish I was one of those girls that had like a really clean background when they film, but uh, that's just not me. It, it's a mess, okay? I know it's a mess. Just bear with me. In that same order, I did pick up some bodysuits from Fashion Nova. I had this black one. I originally bought this black bodysuit, which is just a square neckline, and then it has the itty bitty straps, and it does have a clasp closure. So because I liked it so much, I ended up getting it in two more of the colors. I got it in this mauve color right here, and a yellow mustard color because that is my favorite. I'm obsessed with mustard and these are very comfortable once you get them on but the whole process of getting them on is very annoying because I don't find that they're very long so when you're trying to close it at the bottom it is kind of a struggle. Even though they're a stretchy material I find that they kind of squish my boobs in even though they're a 2x so I might go up to a 3x in the future. Last up is this rust bodysuit and oh I love the color of this. I wish that it fit better. It has a bathing suit kind of feel to it and it has this elastic band in the back oh and in the front but on the back for some reason they didn't close it so you really have to make sure that it's tucked in when you're wearing it so it doesn't like it can flip up during the day and that's really annoying also similar issue to the other ones they are a little bit short i did get this in a 2x the other thing is it doesn't have a clasp at the bottom so if you want to go to the bathroom you literally have to be naked which is not fun i forgot about this okay so this one was definitely a letdown I love the color yellow, as you know, is my fave. Of course, it drew me in because it has these little bows that you tie yourself on the straps. And I like that idea in theory, but I wish that they did it so it looks like you can tie them yourself, but it's already sewn that way. When you're trying to do this yourself and you suck at tying bows, it doesn't look that cute. <laughs> also, this material I thought was going to be a lot thicker. I still have the tag on it. I got it in a 2X. And for what it is, it should not be $17.99 in my opinion. Like this is just kind of a little tube top with some strings attached. Like how how is this $17.99? No Fashion Nova. I'm, I'm over with your shit. Even if I use a 30% off. Um, 
Oh, if you want to know the real hack of it all, uh, use FB30 to get 30% off because all the other codes that I've heard of are 15% off, including the one that they gave me. And yeah, I would just get 30% off because it always works and save yourself some extra money if you can. Hey, I just spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to organize this by brand, so <laughs> appreciate all of my effort, okay? Next up we have Forever 21. This was bought in multiple trips, so don't even try to clock me. Um, I'm addicted to Forever 21, I'm aware. This one I bought quite a while ago, so I don't know if they still have it on their site, but it is this waffle knit kind of shirt and it does have a drawstring in the middle. Hope that they still have it on their site because they had it in like a nude and a black and I really want it in every color. This one is definitely going to be hard to show. You'll see it in the try on portion though. So it is this very long duster cardigan and I can't believe this was only $20 because usually things like this are just really expensive because of how much material it is, how heavy it is, and everything like that. So I was happy when I saw this in store. It does have the pre-rolled sleeves, so it looks kind of slouchy, casual, like you're not trying but you are. I have some random sportswear feel kind of stuff, so I picked up one of their sports bra. This is considered one of their medium impact bras. So it has padding, padding in it, and it has a crisscross back. I think I got this in a 1X just because they are very, very stretchy, and I thought that over time they might stretch out because some of my other ones have. Padding is thick. Like, this is some nice padding. I'm impressed. This next piece was definitely an impulse buy. I don't really know how much use I'm gonna get out of it, but I was looking at it in the store and then I went away from it and then I came back to it and then I went away from it and it was just like this whole repeating cycle and I was like, okay, I should just buy it. It is this windbreaker style jacket and I don't own anything like this, I think. Just for the sake of having something unique, uh, I picked it up. <laughs> The other thing that drew me in was this color blocking. I'm obsessed with color blocking. I have other stuff to show you that has color blocking. Oh my god. Color blocking. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, so just talk about the jacket, Vanessa. This isn't hard. Um, and with the navy blue, the white to red. Ugh, I love the contrasting sleeves. The only thing that they had available was the 3X and this was $27. Not too bad for a jacket. I have a pair of pants and they are in this rust color which is my favorite. That's why I picked them up. But when I tried them on I didn't find that they were very flattering on my lower stomach. So I might sell them on my Depop or something. I was meant to go and return them, but I just got busy and I forgot. So they still have the tag on them and everything. <sighs> Maybe if I try them on again, I will like them, but I don't know. It's just such a thin fabric and it clings to everything that you don't really want it to cling to. I might change my mind if I try them on again. Sometimes that does happen. Like I said, I did make multiple orders on Forever 21. Oh, it just, they draw me in with their final sale and they had like a 30% denim thing going on. It was just all happening and I was like, okay. I gotta buy more stuff. I had been eyeing this top for a while and it finally went on their clearance. It was $13 when I got it. So it does have the square neckline and the floral detail was very cute. I don't have anything with this ruffle style. So I wanted to branch out a little bit and try some ruffles because I tend to like ruffles. Oh my God, I got three pairs of jeans because of their denim sale and I'm pretty happy with them. First pair are these mid-rise ankle skinny jeans. Right, right. No, just like go by with your really loud cars. 
first pair are a mid-rise ankle skinny in a size 16. I got all of them a size 16. They did feel a little bit tight on me, but I think over time they're definitely going to stretch out like most of my other Forever 21 jeans. I didn't want to size up to an 18 because I knew they were just they would just get too big at the waist and then I couldn't wear them. These are by Celebrity Pink. I've never heard of that brand before. They are more of like a faded wash. And I thought these would be good for class um, just because they are pretty comfortable. They have a lot of stretch in them. I could sit down in them easily. That is a big factor for me because if I'm going to be in classes all day, the last thing I need is a pair of jeans that are going to be digging into my rib cage the whole class. These pair are pretty good. I think they are around $20. These are also a mid-rise skinny jean and they were $20. These have a lot more stretch than the last pair. I am a fan of these just because they are so like classic looking. I'm now a nanny. Uh, I just had my first week of being a nanny and I kind of wanted some very neutral outfits that I could wear while being a nanny and still be appropriate. I don't know if that's weird, but I was thinking about all of the stuff that is in my wardrobe and I was like, this is not appropriate to be a nanny in. Last up we have the same thing but in black. Although I feel like these are a little bit more high-waisted than the last pair. I have no idea why. I just wanted some black skinny jeans. I have not owned black skinny jeans in such a long time. It's kind of a lie. I tried to find some at Fashion Nova. They didn't fit very well and I ended up selling them on my Depop. So I was in the market for a new pair. I swear we're only halfway through and I have so much more stuff to show you. We got this. We're, we're good. We're good. Next brand is Rainbow. I only got a few pieces and it was very sporadic. I find that I don't really shop on their website as much as I used to. You really have to search on their website to find good stuff. The first item is this jumpsuit. I haven't really had a chance to wear it yet and I feel a little bit extra when I wear it, so that's probably why. I do like it, it's just I thought I was bold enough to wear it, I just really haven't found an opportunity to yet. Then I got this piece and it is also a jumpsuit. Some people on my Instagram were like, where did you get that? And it's from Rainbow. I feel like that emoji when I wear this, you know, like the girl dancing. I like that the sleeves are separate from the top just because then it doesn't slide up on you so much. I bought it in a 3X just because I didn't think it would be very stretchy and it isn't. It's a rayon kind of material mixed with like a little bit of spandex. I really like Rainbow's bras because they are so inexpensive. It looks really supportive. It has all of these freaking clasps. I hate having all of these clasps because I suck at doing them myself. If you really want everything to be secure when you're wearing a strapless bra, it's kind of necessary. The only thing I would say is I am a larger band size, but my boobs aren't the biggest and they are asymmetrical. So I don't know, like these cups just look very intimidating and they have no padding literally none. So if you have bigger boobs, I really recommend them because their selection is pretty good and they're inexpensive. So if you don't feel like paying $50 for a bra, hit up Rainbow and get some. This is just a selection of the Target stuff that I have. I couldn't find everything, but these are some of the goodies, you know? First thing is this dress that I'm wearing right now. It's just a button down. I got it in a 3X and I'm glad that I did. It's very appropriate just for going to class, you know, having something loose and comfortable. That is my first piece. It's also from the Wild Fable line. Somebody commented and said that I should try some of their stuff and I was like, oh! Target's getting fancy and like adding these new lines. Yes, Target. I really like some of their stuff and I'm definitely going to check out some more because their jeans look really good. I was also pleased to find that a lot of this stuff comes in straight sizes and then also plus sizing. I just get so frustrated when they will have a new line and they will have all the stuff in the straight sizing and then only a few things in the plus size. 
it's just so ridiculous to me because they have all of the same materials. They could literally make it in plus size if they wanted to, but they choose not to for certain items. <sighs> that is like a whole rant in itself. But anyways, I was happy to find that they had so much plus size pieces and yeah, it made me VV happy. The other thing is because they have this new line, they had so much clearance, oodles and boodles of clearance. And I'm here for that. I love clearance. It is my favorite section out of the entire store. And I picked up some gems. The first item are these pants. They do have this daisy floral print. They are high-waisted. They have a hidden zipper on the side. They fit me so well. They're the perfect length on me. It's just everything I've been looking for in a pair of pants. These were such a good find. I think they are from the Exhilaration line and I got them in a 2X. I sometimes fit in a 2X but or an extra extra large but sometimes I really don't just because it is junior sizing and I have more of like a woman's body. Ugh. And it was like six dollars. It was just that was a good day. That was a really good day. On that same trip, I ended up getting this little skirt and it has this wrap style. I think I definitely want to try to sew it properly because, um, honey, this wrap literally opens. I did have to pin it because on a windy day, I don't want everybody just seeing my hoo-ha. Like, that is not something I signed up for. They really didn't think about how this wardrobe malfunction would happen with this skirt. I know I go into way too much detail, I'm aware, but I just want to let you know that one thing that I look for when I'm gonna find a skirt or a pair of pants is that the front of it has the straight, non-stretch kind of front and then in the back it has elastic because when it has elastic all the way around it doesn't look as uniform but when it has the elastic in the back then it makes it so that it's comfortable throughout the day and it doesn't feel like it's squeezing you it doesn't feel like it's too loose it just forms to your body last up we have this beautiful mustard floral print dress so <laughs> Are you surprised? Are you really? Because I'm obsessed with all of these things. I definitely want to wear a bralette with this. I think that the halter design fits me really well. It's not too small. Sometimes they make this area so tiny and um, yeah, it just fits my form really well. I'm just like patting my boobs, by the way. In my book, this definitely gets an A plus because they have pockets. It, it just has a really flattering shape and sometimes that's really difficult to find for being a plus size gal like things just don't fit me the same way that they fit a straight size girl okay i know that it might seem like no time has passed but i was cleaning up my room and i realized that i had this bag from old navy that i just forgot to mention so I'm popping in really quickly. I don't really have that much stuff from Old Navy. I have some more active wear, but it's in the wash right now, so I can't put it in this. But if you know me, I did a video where I talked about like different plus size leggings and their workout leggings are the best I've ever come across. They're so comfortable. I'm actually a size down for my usual size. I'm an extra large in their active wear. I think that they have a good variety of stuff. If you're looking for active wear, definitely check them out. My brain is in shambles. I keep on forgetting everything. So I have this pair of leggings that I just ordered. I bought a pair in this dusted pink kind of color and then I also got it in blue and I like it because they have the side pockets. So I got an extra large like I mentioned and they're the go dry kind of style so hopefully if I did want to work out with these, which I don't know if I would just because I sweat so much and I don't want to show those sweat lines. <laughs> I don't want to like have any embarrassing sweat lines around my crotch because I do sweat around my crotch. How lovely. Oh my god, are you guys still watching at this point? I feel like everybody has clicked off. 
by now. I got a little top. I never have enough of these. If you guys watched my thrift with me video, you sh definitely should. I picked up a lot of active wear because I don't like paying full price for active wear, but Old Navy is so reasonable. This was only, I think it was $20 originally, but then I got like a discount. So because I bought all of those jeans that I mentioned from Forever 21, I wanted to get some simple t-shirts to go along with it because I am severely lacking regular t-shirts for some reason. Are t-shirts in? I feel like they really aren't. I only really wear them if I'm lounging around the house. I never go out in a t-shirt. Is that weird? I needed a little white one, just super simple. And here is another one, but it is LGBTQ+. Is there another part of that? I feel like there's another extra one. So it has this little rainbow heart on here and it says love wins in like little font. Being bisexual, I just thought it would be nice if I had a little pride shirt. For sizing reference, I got the white shirt in a 2X and then I got the heart shirt in an extra large. I wanted it to be a little bit more fitted. This one, can you see a theme here? I'm obsessed with mustard and this one just has what's the scoop and it has a little ice cream cone on it so yeah they were all pretty inexpensive they say $14.99 but they're always on sale so um yeah that is it from Old Navy <laughs> let's go on to the rest of the video that I already filmed <laughs> I don't know if anyone else cares about color blocking, but as I said, it's my new obsession and I have these two hoodies that I got on ASOS. So this one I think is currently out of stock. It's just, oh my god, I'm not surprised that it's out of stock because it's so cool. Um, but I think it is originally from Boohoo Men and then they just stock it on ASOS for some reason. I think it was around $20. And this one is also very similar to that. It just has the gray and white with the navy and the navy hood. So I haven't had a chance to wear this one yet. I did get it in a large instead of an extra large because this could literally be a dress on me. <sighs> oh my god. I think I'm done. <laughs> I had so much stuff and I'm really, really, really ready for college. I'm finishing up my last year of university. Ah! So excited to be done. Um, of course, I've had some hiccups already with trying to get classes and everything like that, but <sighs> it's worth it just to get my degree. And now I feel comfortable going into the new semester with all of these clothes. I hope you guys enjoyed this a little, uh, not so little, <laughs> try on back to school haul. And yeah, let me know down below if you're doing any back to school shopping. Yeah, that is it for me. I hope that you guys have a great day. I know that this video is so long, so if you stayed until the end, I appreciate it. Thankfully, I could actually talk in this video. Sometimes it's really difficult, so I'm proud of myself for getting through this with very few hiccups and um, a lot of sweat. <sighs> I will just keep on rambling if you let me, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Leave any video suggestions down below. I would love to do them. And until next time, bye!